All right, YouTubers, we're working on this 2013 uh, Chrysler 300 3.6, and we're doing the uh, forward lower control arms, which are these on right here. And we have to uh, unhook it from this bottom here. It's got a nut and a clip. And uh, these bolts are very tight, so make sure you spray them with your preference of uh, lubricant. I use uh, WD-40. And this one's a 18 millimeter, and that other side's a 21 millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna try not to take this cover off. I hate messing with these covers. And I'm using my foot right now because, like I said, they were tight, but I think I got them loose. Let's try a ratchet wrench. Get it in the right direction, huh? Okay, guys, I think this is where you also uh, align the vehicle because I can see it move. Check this out when I turn it, see how it's going in? Out. So this should have been marked, and it's too late now because I don't even know where they were at. But either way, they're going to have to uh, align it. Let me try removing the uh, this end now. I just wanted to break those loose. All right, let's try to get this clip carter pin off. Oh, I got these wire cutters. You kind of grab better. There we go. Okay, it's a 21 millimeter. And out it comes. Okay, let me tap on it and see if that has any effect on it. See if it'll get it to move. See if I can get it to All right, YouTubers, it took me a while to get this one to come loose. I was hitting it on the bottom, and there's really no way to get my tool in there. So I was thinking about taking this off. So give me some room here that I can whack it and maybe put my tool in there. But what I did instead, I just turned the wheel. Turn the wheel to the left. I guess that did the job. There's probably pressure down there somewhere when you have the wheel turned to the left. Uh, let me turn it so you can see. <laughs> anyway, I just turned it a little bit, then I hit it down here. And uh, now, let's see, I can see. I hit it down here, and boom, it came loose. Let me take that bolt off. Just so you can see, it's loose now. Okay. I'll come up now. Let's turn it back and see if we don't run into the same situation. It's loose now. So now let's go ahead and finish taking it off from the back. All right, I got everything loose, but I can't get to that bolt because of the stupid cover. So I'm going to take off that cover. All right, dude, that's ridiculous. I had to take this front cover off so I can get to these uh, this bolt and wiggle it out. Yeah, this bolt was kind of stuck on there. Good, I couldn't get it to budge, so I just took a wrench, put it on there and just whacked it like that and it loosened up a little bit. Now we're gonna have to push it back, remove this. And now we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do back here because it looks like it wasn't gonna come out, guys, but thank God it did. Let me show you. Just push it out. And it's gonna hit on that bolt. Turn this around. And it should make it all the way out. Now we can take this out. I'm trying to give you all the information I can give you. See how it's got that straight end? Of course, you know where it's gonna go. This back's round and that's straight. That's how it's gonna go. It can't go no other way. 
See, it has to go this way. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel and see if that helps bring it up and up. New one, and I've already matched them up, and they do match. Let me just set it in there, and go to the bottom, and run that bolt through there. Okay, YouTubers, I may have to get in your way, but I'm gonna try to put this camber bolt there and be very careful when you take this one out and i'll show you why because i almost stripped it was i able to file it down and fix that let's see here's the back side let's see where i'm at see how it hits up here make sure when you start loosening this up try to hit this so that uh, bolt will go back and you can clear this because I didn't do that I kept turning it on this side and it scraped on there and it almost it didn't the bolt was okay but this it almost stripped but I was able to fix the threads and it's grabbing now so just push it back when you're taking it off and now I gotta put this in there And if I wasn't able to fix it, I would have bought him another one or her. And uh, when it came out of my pocket, of course, and it was my mistake. And they're about $70, so <laughs> I would have lost 70 bucks there. But I'm not going to screw anybody around. If I did something, I'll man up to it. I really don't want to, but it's the only fair thing. People trust you, and you're going to pull that on there? Nah. Okay. This is going to give it a light tightening and then we're going to go over there and put it in the uh, uh, I guess the uh, knuckle there somewhere let's go over there okay let's before we go any further I'm tightening the back bolt let's try to get this in there and this is going to have a little cover hi guys so don't forget to take that little uh protector that protects that little boot is what I'm talking about let's come off let me stick my big old noggin you may have to turn the wheel so you can line up I'll put the nut on the bottom and hope it don't turn while we tighten it up let me show you what I was doing real quick with the other uh, forward uh, lower control arm Okay, this is a little boot plastic cover that covers that boot. So don't forget to take this off. It's in there to protect that boot while in shipment, while you're handling it. Okay, now it goes in like this. This is for the other side, but I'm just using this to show you what I was doing here. I couldn't get it in there. There's a little hole there that is supposed to go in the stud. And y'all yeah, guys, get your mind out of the gutter. And uh, it goes like this. That little hole was there and I was kept missing it and needed to bend this. So you might have to bend this. <coughs> See, it's, it's hard because it's new. Just bend this around and it'll help you line up. It was way over there and I couldn't get that to go into that little slot. So I bent it out and then it went perfect in there. Okay, that's a 22 millimeter. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. So again, I wasn't familiar with this uh, bolt. That's the one you want to turn and then like I said, push it in a little bit so you can clear it. Uh, Cause if you turn this one, it starts turning the whole lower control arm, see? That's where, what you use to adjust it. It moves in and out. So the one you want to be messing with, again, you want to hold this side. And this is the side you want to tighten up. So again, if you want to get pretty close to where you were at, just mark it somewhere like this. You know, put a line like that. Put it back in the exact markings you put. It'll look something like this. 
And then when you put it back, you'll line up the marks with the bolt. Just mark the bolt hit too. And it'll get you pretty close. <laughs> Sorry, YouTubers, what a goofus. I didn't notice the camera was off when I was filming the ending. But uh, y'all didn't miss anything. I was already done, just had to put the tire on and that's it. Thanks for watching and like always, I really appreciate you and God bless you.